Hey everybody, long time no see. I wanted to go through this with you guys because I was going over some gym and a trading repo in GitHub and I didn't realize that they had a Forex environment just built in, just already ready to go. So I went ahead, slapped some a quick reinforcement learning guide together and that's what I'm gonna share today. It's really easy to install. We just got to get Gemini trading and stable baselines. Colab pretty much comes with everything else that we'll need in this case. So let's wait for that to install. Cool. Once we've got that, we're just going to need our usual suspects, Gymnasium, Gemini trading. We're going to import actions. We're going to bring in stable baselines. And I was going to bring in quant stats but I think it doesn't really matter for the scope of the video. Um, if you remember in other videos, QuantStats just lets you take a look at your trading strategy to see what sharp ratio you have. It gives you like a ton of information, but this isn't really within the scope of that. Um, so I don't think we'll need it. It's better if you have like much bigger projects. This is gonna be a very quick and dirty little video on how to set up a Forex environment for your reinforcement learning uh, practice, I guess, or your reinforcement learning project. So now that we're all set up, um, Gym Any Trading comes with a data set that you can just grab. And this is what it looks like. Very, very, you know, simple data frame here. We've got our timestamp as an index, open, high, low, close, and volume. You can add other indicators. I've done that in previous videos, so I won't go into it here right now. I really just wanna show you what we can do here. This is the Euro USD one hour. So each hour it's grabbing the data, putting it in our data frame here. Another way you can do it is just go to Y Finance, Euro USD as X and get the raw file. The only difference here is that it won't come with any volume. And we can see here that the Y finance is about 5,000, whereas the data from Jim Eddy Trading comes with about 6,000 rows. Um, you can always try to add, I don't know if Y finance works with different time, um, what I wanna say, like time intervals. Looks like here it's day by day. So you could see if you can get hour by hour. I don't think it, I don't think why finance does that though. I could be wrong. Anywho, we're just going to stick with this one, the Forex USD, Euro USD here. Once we got that, the next step in most um, reinforcement learning projects is to do some feature engineering, make sure things are in the correct order. Um, add in any other technical indicators that you want on this side. I think in future videos, I'm gonna play around with the Forex environment a little bit more and add in like uh, turbulence and other other things that, you know, might be kind of useful for, for the agent. Next, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna call the Forex environment here. So we'll do gym make, we'll do the Forex, we'll pass through our data frame window size and start index end index. I've talked about this in previous videos, but window size we're just saying is 10. So at any given time, it's gonna be looking at like 10, at any given step of the observation, it's gonna have 10 rows of data that it can look at. Um, and then the frame bound is the start index and end index. That's uh, basically the window size is where we're gonna start. And then the we're gonna go all the way until the end of our data frame, basically. And then in this cell, we're gonna print our observation space. So you can see this is a box um, environment. So, if you're not familiar with this, there's like different types of reinforcement learning environments. So box is one, there's like a, I think there's a continuous environment. There's, there's all sorts of different ones that you can, that you can call here, but the observation space is a box. 
we're going to reset our environment and then we're going to call our agent from stable baselines which will be an a2c environment we're going to pass through the environment we just or excuse me a2c model and then we're going to pass through our environment here and then of course we've got verbose set to zero here i'm only going to train it on 10,000 time steps and so we shouldn't have to wait too long for it to train while we wait not that any of you care but if you're a frequent watcher of the channel you may have noticed that i didn't post anything in february it's because i've been really sick um and i just kind of needed a break from youtube there's like this big winter storm that hit the country in the u.s and i got crazy busy with my work my full-time job and then i got yeah really really sick so i just have been out of commission for a long time which is kind of too bad because i know some watchers reached out to me and really wanted to like collaborate and i just i feel really bad because it just came at a really bad time but um i'm getting better i'm not feeling so fatigued all the time so hopefully i can be making videos again okay so it looks like this is trained the next step is to basically test it so we're saying that our action stats here are sell and buy and we're gonna reset again our observation and info and then we're just going to work through and predict on the observations here. We're going to log it, right? We're going to, once it's done, we'll stop it, we'll close it, and then we'll print everything that we need to print. It'll make more, that was the worst, <laughs> that was the worst way of describing what this cell does. But if you're at all familiar with reinforcement learning, you should know that we're basically just having passing through all the data through the model and we're having the agent observe and explore the space, the data space to perform actions and receive a reward or not. So you can see the total reward here is 10,074. We have a profit of 955. Um, I kind of forget a, uh, Jim Eddy Trading's total profit method here. Like, what exactly does this mean? Um, I want to say that this is actually we've lost money because we start at a place of one. So at our very end here, it looks like I've lost. Um, we're down. Looks like we're down. So next, let's just evaluate. It's much easier to see in visual form. And you can see that this is, you can't really see the blue line here, but this is like the actual forex data points and all the green is where we've bought um it looks like it's just bought a ton i can see a couple of reds here um but then again you know <clears throat> i'm not too surprised by this um if i had done some quant stats we could have evaluated the actual performance of this model in, a, in greater detail but it, it would have been I'm telling you, it would have been like information overload, but I can just tell by looking at this. And if you have any experience trading, and I hope you do, I hope you don't just like take this video and actually put it into production. But if you, you could probably tell that this is like a terrible performing model and that I've, I've lost money doing this uh, because we wouldn't want to buy this many times throughout, throughout our data. Um, so yeah, I just really wanted to show you that, that basically you don't have to build um you don't have to build out or write out a forex environment gym edit training comes with one that seems to do what it needs to do and the data that you need to pass through is also very basic and simple a very standard open high low close uh, data frame will do just fine um, but I know a lot of you are interested in Forex. I've been getting a lot of requests to do more Forex videos, so I will make more in-depth series. Um, but I thought that this would be a really good way of getting this series started. In the next video, I plan on integrating this environment with FinRL so that I can do some more complex things and see if we can have some fun, see if we can explore um, a cool Forex reinforcement learning agent. 
Until next time, I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.